Blue light glasses are a myth. The hottest trend in eye care right now is blue light blocking technology, which is supposed to protect our eyes from prolonged digital screen time. But there are some things that the eye care market isn't telling you. Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Sai, optometrist and founder of Line of Sight in New York City. And today we're going to be talking about blue light and how it affects your eyes. So what exactly does blue light mean? Well, all visible light is a spectrum of wavelength and it creates the colors that we see around us. The specific wavelength that creates blue light is primarily emitted from our digital devices. So think of it this way, outside on a sunny day, you put on sunglasses to reduce the light sensitivity that you experience with the visible light. Indoors, there's still light that surrounds us, but it's artificial light and that comes from LED lights and other various light sources like fluorescent lighting. And the light that's emitted is the spectrum of blue. We become very light sensitive to this type of lighting scenario. Research has shown that prolonged viewing of digital devices can cause something called digital eye strain. So what is digital eye strain? Well, there are symptoms that develop when using digital devices, such as strain around the eyes, pressure, sometimes fatigue and headaches, even dry eyes. Now this is where we get into the myth of blue light because many people like to say that it is the primary cause of digital eye strain. But this is only half true because although blue light can have an impact on your eyes, which we'll cover in a second, the largest contributing factor to digital eye strain is the viewing distance. Most people look at their phones and their tablets and laptops at a very close distance, like here, especially in bed, and after many hours, this can lead to eye strain. The other thing that is a big contributing factor to eye strain is not just the proximity, but how many hours you spend on your devices. So think of it like this, when you're working out at the gym, you're contracting your muscles, but if you're told to hold weights all day long, that can be very straining on your muscles. The same thing occurs when you're constantly focusing inwards on closer objects like your screen. And this is why we experience a little bit of that eye strain. The other issue that we're experiencing with more screen time is actually our blinking rate. It drops by at least half. We naturally have a tendency to hold our blinks when we are reading, especially intense material, but if your eyes feel dry or they feel red and you want to rub them, you can use eye drops over the counter. Artificial drops are great in helping with reducing eye strain and a little bit of the dryness. So how does blue light play into all of this? Well, most notably, blue light can affect your sleep schedule by messing with your circadian rhythm, also known as the internal clock that tells you when to sleep and when to wake up. Now, when you're looking at your phone at night, it's tricking your body into thinking that it's still daytime when it's really not, and this leads to insomnia. There's currently research being done to study whether or not blue light can cause retinal damage or retinal harm. But there isn't enough data as of yet that can prove that theory. We do know that if anything, blue light glasses and wearing them will aid in helping you sleep much better at night. And it tends to make your electronic devices look a lot more soothing to look at. But for other symptoms of digital eye strain, they won't provide that much relief. The best way to prevent digital eye strain? Just remember the 20-20-20 rule. That means every 20 minutes, take a 20 second break to look at something 20 feet away. The most important thing is when you take a break, do not look at your phone because it's a lot closer and it's the same thing. So overall, blue light glasses are not quite all they're cracked up to be. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I cleared up some misconceptions about blue light and provided some insights on how to prevent digital eye strain. If you like this video and eye care related content, click the subscribe and like button below. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Dr. Jen and Juice. Until next time. So overall, consensus shows that blue light glasses are not quite what they are all cracked up to be. What? I'm not quite what they're cracked up to be. Okay, not That's quite. That's a sudden thing, I don't know. <laughs> so overall, consensus shows that blue light blocking glasses are quite all... Are not quite what they're cracked up to be. Are not quite what they're all cracked up to be. Does that make sense? So overall... So overall... Okay. So overall, blue light 
the. So overall, blue light glasses are not quite what they crack up to be. Have you never heard that someone say that? Are before? quite aren't are not quite all they're cracked up to be. I don't know why it's hard for me to say. <laughs> are not quite all they're cracked up to be. So overall, blue light glasses are not quite all they're cracked up to be. That sounds so weird. So overall, 